Good morning. Good morning. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to Life with Favor in the Regal Princess Cruise Vlog Series. Today is day one or day two. It's the first sea day of our 12 day cruise on the Regal Princess. This vlog you're going to see two sea days and along the side of the screen on either side right now and throughout the day you will see as much information as I can possibly put. It'll be the daily planner, menus, ships, maps, anything and everything I can possibly put on the screen for you, I will put there. Hit pause, you know, pinch and zoom, take screenshots, whatever you need to do. I cannot increase the size of the graphics and I can't slow them down because otherwise they'll be there the whole video. So this video could get a touch long. We're just going to show you some of the things you can do on a sea day on a princess cruise. We are relaxed on this cruise. We're taking it easy. So there may be more things to do that we just don't do. So we'll definitely show you food and all the fun things that we can get do during the day here on a princess cruise. Yep. We are not sponsored. How much we paid for this cruise is listed down in the description box along with all the information you could possibly need about this cruise. It's all listed there. If I've managed to forget something, just let me know down in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, are you ready to get this day started? Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna go downstairs, get him a drink, get me a coffee. And then I think we're gonna have um, Alfredo's for lunch today. So we'll probably buzz through the buffet a little bit, let you see the uh, buffet options for breakfast this morning, but the menu for the dining room has already been or is on the screen. The buffet for lunch and dinner has been awesome. It really is. I have to say this class along with the, what Sky? The Sky Princess was, yeah. was really good. Those buffets were great. Ruby was a little, left a little to be desired, but that's all right. This ship, there's just a plethora. There are so many choices. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you along the way. Well. You don't have to just go to cafe, no, International Cafe. We are on deck seven, right next to Princess Live. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yep. Look, 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 Once look, look how sweet. Uh, Excellent, thank, thank you so you much. You can just come right here, deck seven, because a lot of times the actual coffee shop will have quite the line. So, there you go. There's a bar right there on deck seven outside of Princess Live. He made me a delicious latte. And off we go. I will tell you the coffee in the buffet, delicious. It's as good as this. We went through there yesterday. I bought my Pandora charm. If you're interested in that, I suggest you watch the sneak peek. That's where we show that and the other shops. We had a good time shopping around. After a very quick donation to the casino, you can see here's guest services. That's a serious line. Lots of people here. I don't know what they're doing. They all seem to have the same piece of paper in their hand. Here's Shore Excursions Desk. We're on deck five. And there is Sabatini's. We don't have that booked. We may, we may. I mean, we're on the ship lots of days. So, and then here is the Love Boat crew. So these are the godparents of the ship. That's really cool. Look at that. That's really cool. Can you see that? The naming of Regal Princess by the cast of the Love Boat. Well, the line's not too bad at the uh, International Cafe this morning. Let's see what offerings they have in the case. Cheese, some muffins, some raisin bread, some egg bites, some muffins. Avocado toast, salmon toast, fruit. Look at that. Lemon, strawberry, and blueberry muffin, gluten free. Very nice, very nice. I didn't even see it. Robert noticed the tiny little gluten free at the bottom there. Very nice. Some breakfast sandwiches, ham and cheese. We've got an egg, egg muffin, some donuts, cinnamon rolls, fruit salad. Very nice. Bananas. And here. Look at that. Almond croissant, chocolate croissant, plain croissant, strawberry. There's a strawberry danish, lemon, cherry danish, which Robert really enjoys. Look at that. Delicious. For those of you who collect, they have the Explorer ceramic mug right there. They're the different ones. So there you go. Pretty cool. That's nice. They just finished the Zumba class. It's always nice to chat with people on a cruise ship. In the elevators, people are friendly. They're excited. Lido. Hello, Lido. Let's start by washing our hands. Washy, washy. 
Here we go. Pound cake, raspberry pound cake, apple. We got bread and butter pudding. I tell you what, that is one thing I can't wait to get to Europe and have gluten-free croissants. Chocolate chip, bran muffins. These are the gluten-free. So let's see, that's strawberry. There's lemon, walnut, raisin bread. We are gonna try a blueberry muffin. All right, we have some English muffins, some bagels, some toast and jam, pancakes, and oatmeal. We have some potato wedges and hash browns, beans and scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage, uh, pizza muffins. Oh, Robert might like those. Boiled eggs, eggs Florentine. So we have some beef hat, ham and cheese croissant, biscuits and gravy, fried egg, black pudding sausage, uh, baked beans, more hash browns, tomatoes. Here we have some, it looks like what you would add maybe to cottage cheese, some peach prunes, poached pears, or yeah, I think it says poached pears, I couldn't tell, mortadella, sliced ham, salami, and as usual we have the cheese in here. Some fresh fruit, banana, more fresh fruit, and more croissants. Hey, over here we have some cream cheese, some salmon, some mackerel, and some more cream cheese, and just different fixings for your bagels. French toast is also here, biscuits, gravy, pancakes, and delicious looking ham and cheese croissants. I have some potatoes and vegetables. So there's ham and sausage. So just keep walking around. You'll find more toppings. There's congee, there's cream of wheat, there's vegetable curry, beef hash, and yes, those hash browns were gluten free, but you should always double check. That is, looks like more oatmeal, pork adobo, steamed rice and uh, boiled eggs. And then over here, you can get poached eggs upon request. So there you go. So it looks like uh, omelet station. There we go. And then over here are different cereals. We have milks and then of course you have Rice Krispie cereal, uh, fruity cereal, and it is labeled gluten-free. Frosted flakes, corn flakes, special K, and then a bunch of different yogurt options and mucilla. There is a plethora of choices. And here are some smoothies, fruit smoothie, green smoothie, raspberry smoothie, strawberry, and then more cut up fresh fruit. I mean, you just, the, the choices are just so many, abundant. I don't know how, but I managed to miss this section. They make waffles ready-made. Oh my goodness, looks so delicious. Mushrooms, cream of wheat, oatmeal. I, seriously, so many choices. So, so, so many choices. What a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. It's a little choppy. I mean, you can see the little white caps out there. It's not terrible. We're rocking and rolling just a little bit. So it's pretty windy, pretty breezy. Ugh, just beautiful. Here's the pool deck today. It's a little breezy today, but it's bright sunshine. We'll go out there one second. Sea view bar. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll walk on the outside, so here we go. Very busy pool deck, but I want you to notice something. It's quiet. I mean, there's a little bit of background music, but mostly quiet. And there's Prego Pizzeria, menu on the screen. There you go. We're having a line dancing class, and we, we're gonna have some Alfredo's. Yum. So I'm very excited. Robert just pointed out to me, so if you'd like, you can just order pizza here. Um, it is 
$4.50. The menu is up on the screen. $14.99 for the cover charge for the meal if you don't have plus or premium. Um, so, I mean, the difference is negligible. Today we are going to order all courses and of course I'm gluten free, Robert is not, and I do have a gluten allergy, I'm not gluten free for fun um, or by choice. So there you go. All right, we'll see you when the food gets here. They have minestrone soup, minestrone soup, uh, gluten free, which I'm really surprised. So it won't have the pasta in it, but um, they can do a gluten free. Now that's a first. I haven't had that since MSC, so Seaside on MSC. So that was, I'm very excited about that. And uh, I got a margarita pizza, and Robert got a pizza with uh, pepperoni, mushrooms, and onions. So as soon as it's here, we'll show you. There is that gluten free minestrone. Delicious. I'm sure it's fabulous. It's just basically at this point vegetable soup, which I absolutely love. Here is my gluten free pizza. Now, the last time I had this, it was quite delicious. So I will let you know this is a pizza margarita. And Robert, what is on yours? Mushrooms, onions, and pepperoni. Correct. That looks delicious. Question is they do have pizza up on the Lido. So I'm going to try my gluten free here, and then I will also, not today. But at some other point during the cruise, I'll have the gluten-free on the Lido. And we'll see if it's the same, if it's better, different. We'll see. And Robert has already had pizza on the Lido at Prego Pizza. Prego pizza? Yeah. Um, forgive us if we're saying it incorrectly. Um, and so he will try this and let us know which one's better or if they're relatively the same. Be right back. That was delicious. Okay, Robert, what, is your, what are your thoughts? I think I have to try the pizza oh, Molino again one more time, one oh. more time so that way I can compare. The, they were both very good, but sometimes, you know, was it better this place or that place? So we'll just have to try the. You'll have to try it again. Okay. Prego pizza again and I'll let you know how it is. Yeah. Goes. But I'm going to tell you something. That pizza, I really love P uh, Princess Alfredo's gluten free pizza. It was very different from Slice on Ruby Princess, but on at Alfredo's on both Sky and here on Regal, I really liked it. In fact, this might have been better than the pizza I had in Florida at the Italian restaurant. That vlog's linked right up there and down in the description box. Legend, legend. Yeah, I can't say the name. We'll it, just but put it on me. Yeah, there you go. This is really good pizza, so if you're gluten free, come to Alfredo's. It's delicious. Okay, now, I mean, it, we're on the food train, so we may as well head on down to the gelato and get our free, not free, but our Princess included. Plus, yes, included dessert. I mean, when on a ship, when cruising. I'm gonna see what they can do gluten free. And if any of the princess treats are not gluten free, maybe they can do something like a banana split or something in place of it. We'll have to see. In case you haven't seen it in, in the Embarkation Day vlog, mm, I put the menu up on the screen of both the premium desserts and the regular menu. It was normal. Instead of looking at me while I explain this, I'm just gonna show you this deliciousness. So none of the Princess Plus desserts, both from the ca um, International Cafe and here are gluten-free. So I was able to substitute a banana split. Look at that. Y'all know I love banana splits. I'm very excited. This is enormous. I'm sure I'll have no problem getting through it. There is Robert's. <clears throat> he got it without the lollipop and without strawberries this time because you know, he's not going to eat the lollipop. So looks delicious, Robert. But we're stepping in for a coffee and let me just show you the different options. There's the gluten-free raspberry jelly and that is uh, rice pudding with apricot and blueberry. It is gluten-free as well. The little cakes down here, tartlets and mango cheesecake and the key lime pie. And look at all the sandwiches and the pound cakes and oh my, 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 my. Um, there are those sandwiches. Ham sandwiches, egg sandwich, cheese sandwich. Delicious. Here are the, the cakes. I know there's a glare, I'm so sorry. These are the Princess Plus or Premium Desserts at Cafe. Uh, International Cafe. And you can also order a celebration cake if you would like. There you go. They do also offer these gluten-free. Okay. All 
right, so if you'd like, you can order a floral arrangement and have it delivered to somebody's room. I put the pricing and the information up on the screen. That's pretty cool. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It smells good too. Just uh, walking off the ice cream we just both <laughs> indulged in. <laughs> That was very delicious. It was enormous. <laughs> Robert did want to point out that if you don't have Princess Plus or Premiere, it might not be worth it to spend the $12 on that dessert. Maybe just spend the $5 on the banana split. They had many. $4. $4. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. They had many options. I'll put that up on the screen right here, that menu, so you can see. They had lots of different things. And you saw that was really nice size. So, I mean, you could basically get two and a half of those for the price of, you know. One of the premier desserts. It is very yeah. good, but if it wasn't, if included. I didn't get too free or too included. Yeah. Because as we all know, nothing's free. Nothing's free, no. We paid for the Princess Plus, so yeah. So we're trying to eat those desserts. And we said get when we- my money's worth. Yeah, we said when we booked it, I was like, uh, that's four desserts between the two of us, plus what's in the buffet, plus what's, you know, at the dining MDR, room, MD, uh, yeah, all the other, and what's free and like international or included in international cafe. I mean, that is a lot of desserts. Yep. So, and we're just two people. So we were trying to see how much we could actually eat <laughs> and not, not feel ill. It is only the first sea day. So we'll see how many days we can get through with having a dessert every yeah. day. <laughs> That's a lot. We'll toughen it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll manage somehow. Yep. <laughs> Seeing what's in the dinner buffet. Whoops, let's wash our hands, hold on. Okay, squeaky clean, including the GoPro handle. Seafood ramen, beef ramen, pad thai noodles, tofu and egg noodles. Hello. Yummy. Oh, little Asparagus quiche. That is beef bourguignon, <laughs> vegetable ratatouille. Oh, uh -huh, yummy. All right, we have chicken cordon bleu, grilled pork chop, grilled cordon bleu. Um, that's Tome Amandi. So I'm gonna stop saying the names. Frog legs, looks like another uh, leek and ricotta pie. French onion soup. Chicken. I don't know what that is. It's that. Creme brulee. Lots of different fruits. All cut up. Salad choices over there. Some Indian choices here. Okay, tikka. Vegetable beef. Steak fries. And over there we have loaded potatoes and mashed potatoes. Right there. We have a potato croquette. Herb roasted leg of lamb and gray crusted beef sirloin. Steamed salmon, grilled minute steak, and steamed cauliflower. It's the gluten-free section. And some grilled pork chops and some jerk chicken. Special fried rice, beef and broccoli. And we have, ooh, some crepes. And we have chicken broth and clam corn chowder and roll. Probably missed some things as well because this buffet is enormous. <laughs> you, are, you are so spoiled for choice here. I mean, there are just tons of options. And the cheese selection. Cheese, the meat tonight is copa ham and salami. More Middle Eastern salads. Oh, look at that. Pita breads and hummus and tabbouleh, oh, baba ganache, eggplant salad, and here is some more guacamole, pico de gallo chips and toppings. Delicious. Of course, there's selections of bread. All right, we're gonna eat now. So the, the kiddos, or you know, some adults, don't feel left out. We have macaroni and cheese, little farmhouse donuts, chicken fingers, french fries, chicken taco, hot dogs, and bun. And you guys, there is a whole other section back here. Seriously, if you can't find something you like to eat on this ship, then you are even pickier eater than Robert. That's pretty there's impossible. <laughs> but yes, there's always pizza, burgers, there's french fries. I mean, there's always lots of choices. Okay, now we're in the sweet shop or the pastry shop. Oh my goodness, this is my weakness. <gasps> Blueberry, mascarpone, banana caramel, almond cake, 
Ooh, there's those. Hello. There's another coffee shop back here. This is the fruit tart. Oh, see, that's the kind of thing I know I like. <laughs> This is vanilla cake. Sugar-free. Sugar-free. Here are the gluten-free options. Uh, we have pistachio creme brulee and pudding. I mean, excuse me, jello. And here are some chocolate brownies, chocolate cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that looks so good. And then over here we have a chocolate bread pudding with vanilla sauce and some scones with uh, whipped cream and, and raspberry. I think that jam. is jam. jam. Yeah. Robert, is that finally it? Is that the whole buffet? I think we got more back here. My goodness. So, I will go ahead and put it back. Oh, oh it's closed. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's closed. Let's go back that way. I will put up on the screen the dinner menu from the dining room. I did not pre-order, and honestly, we j I really appreciate that I can just kind of grab and go. So, as a result, we probably won't be eating in the dining room. Maybe the whole cruise? So, um, you know, I enjoy the flexibility of just dining whenever we want. And as I told you, we didn't realize we could book or needed to book many days out from the cruise. So the only dining time was 7 p.m. And we just don't eat that late, typically. Rob went to go get some pizza. They didn't have the tacos and the fajitas on the, menu, on the dinner menu. They had it at lunch, but he had pizza with me. I feel so bad. He would have loved to have had that, but... He'll be fine, they'll have it tomorrow. So I'll make sure he has it tomorrow, but y'all don't laugh at my dinner, okay? Y'all know me, <laughs> ramen and french fries. <laughs> I went the healthy route tonight. I can't pass it up when they have ramen and I love french fries. Now that is a beautiful sight. Beautiful sunset, aft views this evening. Yep. Gorgeous. It's, uh, it's about 6.12. So uh, the next event starts at 7.30? 7.30, I believe, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna go catch a couple of fun shows tonight with the cruise director. Decided to come in here to the sweet shop, or the pastry shop, excuse me, and get a coffee. And then here, you get them in the glass cups, mugs. Delicious. Look what she did. I love the art in the lattes. My second one today. This one has just a beautiful little leaf design on it. The one earlier had a heart. I love it. We're going to be here for our first princess game show. Welcome to Princess Live for True or Moo, an absolutely ridiculous game show where it's true or false statements. And you know what? Some of them you just won't believe, some of them maybe you do. Well, there he is. <laughs> Oh dear. Hello. Are you ready? No. No. Well, you you hopefully kind of have you been practicing when everyone else has been playing? Okay. So hopefully this goes well. Your first statement, Robert, is Olivia Newton-John was president of the Isle of Man Basking Shark Society. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> True or mirror? <laughs> that was very good. Okay, we're going with mirror on this one. Let's find out. Oh! <laughs> True. Oh my god, that was so funny, babe. Look at Olivia Newton John go there. Loving the shots. Okay, we're getting Let's go. Now, please welcome your host. It's your cruise director, Alexandra Ambriano. Well, a very good evening, Princess Live, and welcome to the Yes No Game Show. Three, two, one. You said you were from Nevada? Texas. That's what I meant. Okay. Texas. Whereabouts in Texas? Small town called Gonzales, Texas. Gonzales? Gonzales. Gonzales. And where, whereabouts is that from in relation to Galveston? About four and a half hours. Four. Oh, so not too bad. Directionally challenged. <laughs> Me too. That's why I lived in New York. It was easy. 
It's a grid system. So it's easy to follow? No? Okay. Okay, all right. I get lost in my backyard. You, what was that? I get lost in my backyard. Oh, no, really? That's four acres. Now, let's wait and see, voice from above, how well did Pat do? 40 seconds. 40 seconds! That's pretty impressive. Hello! 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 I saw a camera. I was like, what are they doing over there? YouTube. Hi. YouTube. YouTube. Oh my yes. gosh, I love it. I love it. What's yep. your YouTube channel name? Life with Favor. Like, do me a favor. My name is Favor. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's really cute. I love that. Well, I'm going to have to check it out and then see myself. I'll share it on my yes, Instagram. Absolutely. I love it. Oh, She's great. been fabulous. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Tell her all about Galveston and Texas. You, you have know. eight events for Tuesday until November 23rd, 2023. Siri, do not interrupt. That's so rude. Anyway, <laughs> now we are headed. Does your phone do that? Or just starts talking to you. Just about starts it. talking to you. Our, you know, A L E X A and Siri, they all do it. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we are going to head up Toledo to to watch the water show. Yes. So I'm excited about that. I actually okay. didn't know about it and then C-Day Travel told us about it in a message. Um, so yeah, so we're very excited to see that. And then we will call this evening done, call this day done. It was and a lot of fun. It was a fun day. It was, we relaxed, mm -hmm. we ate everything, everything, and then we laughed and laughed and laughed at the shows, yes. at the two shows in uh, Princess Live. A lot of fun. So it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed those shows. First time we saw the Yes No show was on uh, Regal Princess. And nope. was it Sky? It was Sky. And then we saw it on Ruby. Ruby. Goodness gracious. Anyway. <laughs> So I keep saying Regal and Ruby. If I'm talking about a past cruise and I say Regal, I mean Ruby. Anyway. In a current cruise, she says Ruby, it's Regal. It's Regal, yes. Anyway, so. It's the R's. Um, it's the R's. So, yes. So, uh, yeah, we are having a wonderful time. And I'm going to show this to you just in case. I, I know I showed it in the sneak peek. But for those of you who are weather geeks like me. I have to know about the weather everywhere I am. I don't know what that is, and, and not just little details. Like, I need to know the facts. So this, I purchased this to bring with us on the cruise so that I could know the temperature of our cabin and outside. Now, I made the mistake of only purchasing one. These are very inexpensive. Um, I will be bringing two on my next cruise so that I can leave one outside and one inside. I don't believe they're weatherproof, but I'm not gonna get rained on or anything, so be prepared. It won't last forever because of the salt, but you know, for those of you who are weather geeks like me and just need that kind of thing, we have one. Okay, enough talking. We're gonna go down to, up to the water show. Movie night. So you can sit in the hot tub or sit in a chair. Very nice. That looks like so much fun. Well, they had to turn it off because of the wind. So we'll try again another night, but at least we got to see some of it. Good morning. All right, it's the second sea day. So we are headed to a show this morning. I don't know, it's like almost 10 o'clock this morning. We had a late start, I had to take a shower. You know, we had so much to do. Anyway, um, like sleep in. <laughs> we were late last night, remember? Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to 
the Antigua show, uh, pork guide show. If it's a shopping show, we'll be leaving, but if it's a pork guide show, well then we're gonna stay because we've never been to Antigua. All right, we'll see you in the theater. Zumba this morning. I can't get away from the music. So basically there's an emergency on board. We are porting in Amber Cove and obviously taking the emergency off the ship. So the casino, the shops and everything are closed until I guess after that. I hope everyone's okay. That's just, that's just sad. Anyway, so I have no idea what the day is gonna be like. So we will see as we go along the day. St. John's Antigua. So, let's see what this is all about, shall we? In this grouping, you have what's known as the Leeward Islands and you have the Windward Islands. So the Leeward Islands are the more northerly group, as you can see here, and the Windward Islands are located a little bit further to the south. And basically, Leeward means that it is um, out of the trade winds. And this is where Antigua is located in the Leeward Islands. I don't know how we missed it, but it's raining. So we're gonna take a peek over here at Amber. Oh, so beautiful over here. Come up here, it is raining, but just a quick look. So beautiful. It's a shame we're here for such a sad reason, but uh, you can see we are moving still. We're pulling into the dock. Now we're uh, releasing the ropes. We've literally been here five minutes. It took us longer to port than it did for us to be hooked up. So, so sad. Okay, we didn't show you the lunch buffet yesterday. It is just opening. So, oh, it looks like they're gonna have a delicious Asian choice over there. We'll get back to that. There we go. Baked chopped chicken, pork scallopini. Part Again, the gluten-free section where we have potatoes and fish, calamari. And that is turkey breast. Ooh, look at those pastrami sandwiches. Yummy. French fries. This is sweet potato and leek casserole. Four cheese pasta. Mashed potatoes, buttered zucchini, diced bell peppers, and a corn. Yum. Braised string beans. Dai dal fry. Lentil. Masala. Oh, you guys, I don't like to stick my camera up in there. There's rice pilaf. That looks delicious. So, there you go. Choices. Salad bar. Let's see what's in the middle here. We lost Robert. The middle is always pretty much the same. We have cheese, and meat, leg of lamb, and salami. Sandwiches over here. We have tomato, mozzarella, and basil. Chicken and tomato, parma ham sandwich. And more breads. And then you have the other half of the bakery, excuse me, the uh, buffet over here, the Horizon Bistro. And this is where you will have the pastry shop. So typically on this side, the buffet is not open at most busy times. So if you come and you're on this side and you say, hey, the buffet's not open, just go walk down a little bit farther. So here we have peach pie and banana shortcake. These are sugar-free. These are not fresh fruit tart. Hazelnut chocolate mousse, which is my favorite, and cherry crumble. These are gluten-free. That's awesome. I've not seen the cherry crumble. Here we have blueberry cobbler, bread and bread and butter pudding and sauce. And this lovely young woman would happy to get you some juice. Thank you. <laughs> and over here we have maple walnut cupcake. Oh my goodness. And then this looks delicious. Carrot cake? 
carrot cake. Oh, yummy. You guys, if you can eat gluten, you're very lucky. Look at this special occasion cake, the vanilla celebration cakes. So you can order these and have them delivered to your room. And I know there are a couple of gluten-free choices. This side is open. We have some whole fruit, some cut up fruit. And here are the tacos. So this is pulled pork and chicken fajitas, pardon me, and beef fajitas. We have beans and cheese sauce and tortillas. And this is a pork tenderloin, chili con carne, rice pilaf. We have potato and leek soup. We have some croutons for the chicken tortilla soup or the potato soup. And they had tomato soup the other day. We have some different salads. Here are more sandwiches, parma ham, mozzarella, tomato, basil, turn, ooh, tuna and cheese. And then you have some meat choices and cheese choices. And, uh, oh, look at that roasted duck breast wrap. Nice. And then here's some bread choices. Okay, so that's the lunch buffet. We may have missed a few things. I have said this throughout this vlog <laughs> the last few C days. You are spoiled for choice and what to eat. Not to mention the fact that there is Alfredo's, there is the steak restaurant, there, the steakhouse, there is Prego Sabatina's. Pizza. Yeah, Prego Pizza, which is out on the pool deck, and um, Trident Grill, which is out on the pool deck. Uh, Trident and uh, Presto are included. Uh, if you have Princess Plus or Premium, you'll have one or two, or excuse me, you'll have two Alfredo's or upcharge restaurants included. So many things to tell you, so many places to eat. So, so many places. Oh, and you can go to International Cafe and get sandwiches and treats included. Okay, we totally missed the Tex-Mex corner. Chicken quesadillas, pulled pork, pulled pork barbecue open face sandwich, quesadillas, um, deep fried fish chipotle sauce, there we have grilled zucchini and bell peppers. This is pork chicharrones, and that's picadillo. Oh, look at those sauteed uh, zucchini and bell peppers. Looks delicious. Wow, and then we have more tacos down here, Mexican buffalo wings, pork ribs. And we have baked Tex-Mex ranch potato. Oh, beef lasagna, a bunch of pasta choice, all of this. And here is the Asian choice today. Uh, chicken ramen, vegetable ramen, pad thai noodles, tofu, and egg noodles. Oh, yummy. We just got to meet Debbie. She's going to Antarctica? Yes. That is awesome. So Debbie, we wish you the best of luck and it was such a pleasure to meet you and get to chat with you. Uh, you guys, I, I tell you what, we have met so many people on this ship. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we have met so many of you on this ship and we are so surprised. We weren't expecting that. Like when we go to Galveston, we we know we're gonna meet. We know we're gonna meet a bunch of you because a lot of you watch us from Texas. So, but a lot of Texans came to this crew. Sorry, we pulled into the elevator. But uh, we just weren't expecting to, to meet so many people. Usually, that's just out of Galveston. But like I was saying, this ship disembarks in Galveston and will become Dexter Galveston's Provenance. ship yeah. for Princess. So. Awesome. So it's been a great pleasure, especially if we got to meet you. Uh, and thank you so always much. Stop us and yeah. Say hi, please. Always stop us and say hi. No matter what, please stop us and say hi. Even if I'm power walking, stop me. My name is Karina, and well, I am the Future Cruise Consultant on this beautiful ship, and I have a team of three Future Cruise specialists uh, Vivo, Isa, and Thomas. We are located uh, on this deck, deck seven, in the midship. Just take advantage now to speak to you a little bit about the Sun Princess, which is going to be the newest princess ship, and it's going to be the ship that is going to be doing Mediterranean next year. We are rocking and rolling. You can see, we're breezy. It's been raining off and on. It's not bad, though. Not bad. Getting ready for the captain's toast. It is currently 4.45 and the toast is at 6.40. We are back here on deck 16. Look, you can see just that one little rain shower right there. We ran through the buffet just to look and uh, I had a couple, a little bowl of vegetables and Robert had a meatball or two. Just to give it a try, we aren't hungry. But the beautiful sunset this evening, more rain off in the distance. It's 
just gorgeous. And uh, we're about to go to the captain's toast. And then the game show tonight. This vlog has probably gotten very long being two busy sea days that we've had and we've relaxed. But uh, it is, it, it's what you can do on sea days. You can make them as fun and busy or as calm as, and relaxing or both as you, as you want. It's your cruise. So you do what you want to do on your cruise. This ship is rocking and rolling tonight. You have a lot of people walking down the hallway sideways and uh, grabbing, the grabbing the walls and bumping into things. It's, it's really rocking. And those champagne glasses are just sitting there. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know how they don't fall over. That's, they have perfected the stacking technique. <laughs> Good evening. How are we? You all look lovely, very elegant for formal nights. So welcome everyone to our Captain's Champagne Waterfall and your official welcome to the Regal Princess and your holiday here. So we have over 1,300 teammates right here on board the Regal Princess who work extra hard to ensure you have the most special cruise ever. And we are all under the direction of this incredible human. So please, a huge round of applause for the master of the vessel, your captain, Aldo Traverso! lovely evening tonight. Uh, absolutely excited to have with the entire ship's company to share this itinerary and cruise with you. And, and there is a lot of things to do and we will do it all together. Beautiful island to visit, beautiful place to enjoy with our shore excursion and we will do that together even without forgetting the great entertainment and activities that we are going to have on board. So a lot to do, and as I said, it's something we want to do together. Having, uh, having the entire uh, ship's company is absolutely thrilled and ready to make sure you're going to have the fun with all of us. But, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with Princess Cruises is not only about uh, destination. It's not only about the port. It's not about uh, traveling. It's something more than that. It's also about uh, sharing a personal, intimate moment that our guests decide to do with us on board on our ship. And tonight uh, I have a breakdown list with me because uh, we, this cruise we are carrying 3,109 uh, guests from 21 uh, different nationalities and we are all getting along and loving each other. Give yourself a round of applause. We are about to kick off our champagne waterfall. Five, four, three, two, one. looking for the wedding chapel which should be like right here concierge lounge wedding chapel yeah so we're going to get me there yeah it's just <laughs> right here all right we're on deck 14 all right so uh, there's the laundry mat so the wedding chapel is right here oh that's nice oh Oh, can we just go in the concierge lounge and the wedding chapel? Oh, nice. That's the concierge lounge in there. Oh. There we go. So here's the wedding chapel. This ship is rocking and rolling. <laughs> <laughs> it's port to port to starboard, so I mean oh Robert wants to show me something. You should see everybody stumbling all over the place. 
I know we don't have the best view, but we'll be able to see a little bit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Princess Live from Mind Jewel. Please welcome your host, <laughs> DJ Taro. Hello and welcome to Princess Live Studio. How are we feeling? Yeah. All right, here we go with question number one. Let's get right into it. Question number one. Which country is both the world's largest island and the smallest continent? This question goes to team passengers. Australia. Australia. What does the audience think? Do we think that's correct? That is indeed correct. It is Australia. So 10 points to team passengers. Next question to team crew staff. Question number two. And it goes like this. What was the name of the ship that brought the pilgrims to North America in 1620. Well, good thing we're American and we learned this in history class. What's the answer? It's the Mayflower. Sierra, are you sure? I'm positive. Did you do a paper on this one? No. <laughs> well, what do we think, audience? Is the Mayflower the correct answer? It is indeed the Mayflower 10 points to Team Krusta. We made it to 1018 tonight. Yep. Last night was 1015, tonight's 1018. We beat it by three minutes. Late night. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us on these last two sea days. Do remember, you can do as much or as little as you want on your sea day. You could have gone to the shows, you could have gone to every single trivia, or you could have stayed in your room and relaxed and taken a nap. Whatever you want to do, it's your cruise. This vlog, just these two days, just gave you a little bit of an idea of things you can do while you're on a princess cruise. Yep. I do want to tell you that in the app, especially as the day changes, we did have a medical emergency. Times kind of changed as things went along. So they weren't really in the app and then they were. I really recommend your, crew, your room steward will leave the uh, princess patter in your room every night. Um, I recommend you you look at that. Go off of that, not just what's in the app. Uh, in these cruise vlogs, I will post both so that you can see kind of what is available on both the app and the cruise patter. So just pay attention to both. That way, if you're somebody who likes to do the activities around the ship, you're sure not to miss anything. Yep. So. Well, like today, they moved uh, one of the bingos because of us yes, stopping, stopping, which yeah. pushed an event we were going to back, back. so yeah but it's okay yeah. they let us know when we got there so the important thing about cruising is to be flexible expect things to go wrong expect there to be delays and have you're fun be, that's right just have fun you're on a cruise don't be grumpy don't be upset i know it can be disappointing especially if a port gets canceled i understand but it's usually for your safety and completely unavoidable yep so all right, you guys, tomorrow is Tortola. We did receive a notice in our room telling us there was there are going to be some situations tomorrow in Tortola because of the weather. So go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for that vlog because we don't know what's happening yet because we haven't done it yet. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us on this probably pretty long vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're so inclined, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help our channel. And we will see you in the next one in Tortola. Yep. Good night. Good night.